Hello friends, welcome to Geology Concepts. Few days back I did a poll or a question what troubles or makes you most un uncomfortable in gate exam preparation. Around 450 people voted for it under these options. A lack of good revision strategy, lack of confidence, lack of good quality questions, lack of good guidance and if any other reasons are there. So around 50% or uh, to be exact 49% of people or students said that they lack a good revision strategy. 22% say they lack a good guidance, right? Lack of confidence, lack of good quality questions. So this is the order. So I've decided to make a video on all of these problems, like having lack of good revision strategy and, uh, and others, where I'll explain you what is the main problem. If you lack a good revision strategy, what you are lacking and what are the solutions that are, you know, that you can take in order to, you know, have a good revision strategy or some, right? So let's begin. The first thing is the lack of good revision strategy. Now 50%, around 50% of you are having this problem or this is making you uncomfortable that you don't know how to revise, when to revise, what to revise, right? So let me explain you. Human tendency is to forget something if you read it once, right? And that is very natural. There is something which is called as forgetting curve. If you look at this curve here, if you have learned something for let's say first time, then naturally you will keep on forgetting it, right? Then retention, this is telling you retention. The retention after one day is around eight, less than 80%. And second day it is around 20%. And by third day you only remember 60% of the information, right? And this will keep on going down if you don't revise it, right? So, a good revision strategy tells you that if you have read something for the first time, make sure you revise it again within 24 hours or one day. Within 24 hours, if you revise it one again, revise it again, then your attention again goes back to 100% and then this curve flattens out. And if you do it on the third day, then you do it on the seventh day and like this, if you, this is also called as a spaced revision, right? A spaced revision strategy. So when you are giving gaps between revision and you're revising after some time, you, this curve, this forgetting curve flattens out. And when it becomes almost flat, that means you can retain maximum of what you have learned. So important thing in a good revision strategy is to have a spaced revision. Okay. There's an app for it also, right? A spaced revision. You can, you can find many apps that will tell you that you, Right, in that you put what you, what you have revised, it will tell you when you have to revise it again. So that is really going to help you in good, revi in good revision because there are topics like paleontology, there is Indian stratigraphy, ore geology and other topics that requires every topic you say there are something that needs to be remembered. Right, so, so that you can, you know, recollect it during the exam. So having a spaced revision strategy will really help you a lot. Okay, next thing in uh, lack in lack of good revision strategy is lack of self-evaluation. So if you are not evaluating yourself and you are only reading and uh, revising, means even if you are revising, that is good, but you have to keep on evaluating yourself, right? So you have to create some small goals like uh, like some some mock test, right? Like some uh, answer writing, right? So this type of goals will uh, help you in evaluating yourself, right? This will also again help you in building your confidence, okay? So creating sub goals is also a part of good revision strategy and of course a space revision. So this is the thing. If you go to the second thing that is most making, making you most uncomfortable, the second is lack of good guidance because geology is huge, right? The syllabus is also huge. There are a lot of resources and there is huge syllabus. So if you know the syllabus and there is a lot of resources, first of all, you have to track down what to read, from where to read, right? And you have to have an exam focus. You cannot just, you know, keep on reading anything that you want because it will, reading is not bad, but it is not exam oriented, right? You have to make your preparation or make your whole journey of preparation very, very exam oriented. So that it extremely exam oriented because uh, your end goal is to clear that cutoff or you know get a good rank so you have to remain exam focused you can take guidance 
right you can see previous year questions right but this is the thing there is lot of resources there is huge syllabus but you have to remain exam focused so when you are reading something just say let's say you started reading structural geology or let's say you started reading metamorphism you should know that okay this is the book but i don't have to read this book from cover to cover right first of all before start reading take out the topics that you want to read or that you have to read in the context or you know in exam point of view what you have to read so make a list of the things that you have to read and then you know then start reading it do not just keep on reading everything because it is no, means it's not bad to read but uh, it will not remain exam oriented so keep yourself focused according to exam right so that will help guidance you can take from uh, anyone who is uh, you know who has been who has cleared this exam or are professionally helping you in clearing those exam you can take a good guidance from them right previous year questions are also going to help you a lot third thing is lack of confidence now if I, if you say lack of confidence is actually a by product of uh, having not having a good revision strategy and not having good guidance if you lack good guidance and if you lack good revision strategy obviously you will start lacking confidence right so there's a lack of confidence will happen because of uh, loopholes in your basic concepts right and this is one of the most uh, common thing right so when someone tells you how the question is solved let's say let's say you do, you don't do not know a concept right you search for it you read a book and you understood it now you have to spend some time with that concept you have to give it time right so that you can really understand it so that is very important because knowing the concept will also just say you have you have understood the concept from like surface level but there can be small loopholes or there can be some small details that can be missed right that will come when you give time to that you know that concept right see questions read some extra about it means in detail what is the what is the very or you can say caveats associated with that what are the details that you have to you know don't have to miss like in mohar circle right you know what is a mohar circle you know everything but you know if you have to plot a plane on a mohar circle you should know from where to take the angle from which side right where theta theta is from sigma 1 or it is from sigma 3 so these are the things that you have to really understand so this will only happen when you spend some time with that concept second thing that can you know have that, that can generate uh, lack of confidence is uh, less self belief that means if you have read something and if you know something you have to have that confidence right and that confidence will build up when you have some small goals like when you do a revision then you also i said that there also you have to keep some small or mini goals like a test series like a mock test like like a group discussion like answer writing all this will help you in generating self belief that yeah i know it right and that belief is very very important before you go into that exam hall right so make sure you have some small goals and that you are confident about you know achieving them and when you achieve them it builds confidence and that is why it is said that if you have a bigger goal you have to break it into small parts so make sure you have small goals lack of right approach i mean there are question there are a lot of numericals that seem a little difficult but once you get the right approach they are you understand that they are not very difficult and this happens many times right so there should be two or three approaches towards solving a question right so you have to have the right approach first so that how does you develop that approach solve lot of questions but when you while you are solving the questions understand why you are doing certain steps some students what they do they have a set of steps in their head right whenever they see a question like that they start solving right they you sometimes they get the answer which is fine but sometimes they have to you know in that if there is some difference in the question or there is some detail that is not there something is different so that is so in that case you have to you have to be very confident about your approach towards the question and that will come when you will solve a lot of questions okay next thing is lack of good quality questions see this is a real problem you have to have a good test series from where you can evaluate yourself how do you judge whether a test series is good or not first of all you have to see what are the range of questions 
it should not be very high the range should not be very high because it should be in exam perspective like that means if you are let's say preparing for gate examination you should be focused on a test series or the, the test series should focus on the areas in which the questions are asked right so in that way it should cover the whole range of the exam not the not the subject itself the whole range of the exam the type of question that are asked second the depth of the question the depth of the question is important you should not be solving very easy or surface level question the question should be in depth and it should help you in understanding detailed concepts right that is important and third thing the explanation should be there otherwise the series is of no use if the if the explanation is not good there should be a lot of explanation with in right context right so that is how you judge a good test series and make sure you have a test series if you are preparing for any exam right because that will that is your you know that is your uh, you can say yardstick to measure your you know preparation level or self evaluation you can say last thing is in others like if you have any other query i got that time i means time management is one of the great issues see if you get your is division strategy if you get your you know guidance in order you will be able to manage your time some basic things about time is that first of all you should allocate your time very correct nicely means two things you have to allocate it but after allocation you have to manage it that means if you are allocating time you have to allocate time to reading or if you are watching videos whatever that is the time you are gaining knowledge after that you have to give some time to make notes then you have to give some time for revision and some time for question practice these are the four things you have to allocate your time your daily schedule let's say you have to study for 4 hours daily or uh, 2 how hour, 2 hours 3 hours whatever is your time right based on that you have to allocate some time to reading some time to note making some time to revision and some time to question practice and when you do this or you can either you can distribute in days also that today you will read then you will make notes it depends on you it depends from person to person but these four elements should be there taking in information making notes revising what you have done previous day and solving questions this is you have allocated the time next thing is that you have to manage that time that means when you are reading let's say you are this time the time is to read right take in information but what to take that is management what you have to read what you don't have to read that is your management in that time when you are making notes do not try to copy everything that is in the book or the notes right when you are making notes make notes that is useful to yourself you are not making notes for someone else right remember these notes are not going to be published these are the notes that you have to keep for yourself and you have to you know when you see these notes it should help you in your revision okay so make sure that notes are very very personal right what you should know what you will you are going to forget what what you think is important right keep those those things in that notes and the last thing is when you are solving questions let's say you have solved some questions give time to analyze those questions so when you have allocated time in that time what you are doing that should be carefully managed just solving question is not going to help you you have to analyze it ki let's say there are four options in that questions uh, and you got it right but why did you rejected the other three options that should be very very clear in your head and that is what is going to make your depth and width about that topic very very what you can say <coughs> uh refined right you will be able to pick up details in the questions right what the question is trying to ask right and that is going to help you a lot in the examination so i think i have covered all the points so in this video that's what i was going for if you have any queries regarding examination that is not covered in this video please mention it in the comments i will surely answer that and if it's uh, if it if it requires another video we'll make it on that okay Take care. All the best.